Hello gamers, we are going to talk about Battletech, a game of armored combat. It is a board game about giant robot combat, from the 1980s, that was relaunched recently. These giant robots are called Battlemechs, or just mechs. In this video, we are going to analyze Battletech data, in order to have some tactical awareness, about the best distance to target, to maximize firing rate capabilities, in the battlefield. We are going to refer to the standard game, not the beginner box, not the full set of rules of Total Warfare rulebook. When you use a mech, you are interested in maximizing firing rate to maximize damage, while conducting proper heat management. Since range of weapons matters, we need to calculate average damage per heat per range, or in other words, heat efficiency. Notice that this heat efficiency is not about the total damage inflicted with firepower, but the ability to keep firing weapons without overheating. In a previous video, we learned that gut feelings are not enough to displace data analysis. And in this video you will be amazed about how non-intuitive data may be. One notice before we begin. These numbers were calculated under the assumption that all weapons are not destroyed and those that require ammunition have ammunition. These curves may vary if a weapon is destroyed or if ammunition is depleted. Unlike other indicators, crunching numbers delivered a more complicated formula. Fortunately, you do not have to worry about mathematics here. Let us see the resulting data. For the locust, we see that heat efficiency is very high at point-blank range. Variant 1V is more efficient than Variant 1E when getting close to the enemy because there is more expected damage inflicted given the heat that is produced. Notice that this is an estimate only. The random dice numbers may change the expected outcome but in the long run this is what is statistically expected to happen. Locust variant 1V seems more efficient, so with 1V variant, you should get more heat efficiency, with less heat, in close proximity to target. Do you remember that Commando did not seem to be a very good mech, in terms of defense capability? Well, for attack, it is more heat efficient than the Locust, so it delivers more damage, for less heat. And the Commando may attack from a longer distance, when compared to the Locust, to achieve a superior heat efficiency. There is no best variant. For different distances, one variant is better, but for another distance, it may not. Since Commando and Locust are light, you may not want to be adjacent to a heavier mech, that could initiate a physical attack. So you may need to decide, how much heat efficiency is acceptable, without risking the safety, of your mech. That will determine the distance you will keep between you and the enemy. Light mechs will need to keep circling enemy, with a torso twist, at a certain distance, and run to avoid being hit. If you run around the target, trying to keep the enemy in the front firing arc, you may reduce up to 27%, the chances of being hit by an enemy mech. It will add 3 heat points, almost like firing a weapon, so you need to seize that heat efficiency without compromising physical safety. If you run around an enemy mech, make sure you do not get trapped in a dead end. Dead ends are determined by terrain slowing you down, and other enemy mechs, other than the target, dangerously approaching to your light mech. Avoidance of dead ends would be about not exposing rear armor and getting out of front firing arc of enemy mechs. In chess, any enemy piece has a threat zone you normally would avoid. Mechs and their firing arcs also pose a threat zone. So pathfinding to avoid threat zones while keeping hexagon movement high is very important. The geometry of terrain, as well as future location of enemy mechs, will determine these paths. The Griffin has about the same variable relative efficiency between variants, so at different distances, a certain Griffin variant performs better than the other. We also see that Wolverine variant 6R is way better than 6M in terms of heat efficiency. 
You also may notice that the distance at which better heat efficiency is achieved is different for the two variants. And the same happens with the catapult. For the thunderbolt, heat efficiency follows a similar pattern, but variant 5S is slightly better than the 5SE. The Shadow Hawk is way more heat efficient than the Awesome and the Battle Master. Battle Master is more efficient at closer distances, and at a distance of 10 hexagons, their efficiency is almost identical. If we oversimplify the previous charts, we may build a chart, like this one. That shows distance of maximum efficiency, and medium efficiency, and maximum range of weapons. It is an oversimplification, because we are trying to reduce these complex charts to two points, just two distances, for medium and maximum efficiency. If you want accuracy, you will check each chart to make decisions about which is the best distance to achieve higher efficiency. All these charts are nice, but what do they mean in practical terms? There are different heat efficiencies at different distances from a target. The ideal situation is when your target is at a distance where your efficiency is high and enemy efficiency is low. It means that statistically speaking, you are likely to have a possible firing rate advantage over your opponent. Did I say statistically? Yes, that is because dice and bad luck can affect the current game, but in the long term, these charts will show the expected behavior. This chart shows the ranges where you should be able to achieve medium to maximum efficiency. Just like it is important to see what these charts tell us, it is important to know what these charts do not tell us. These charts do not tell us if heat sinks will be enough to cool your mech, but it shows the distance where you can get the most of each heat point. Also, these charts do not tell how many damage points you will inflict on an enemy. They only show how to get the most damage from each heat point. If your mech starts to build up heat, you will need to show restrain, so even if you are at the best distance for heat efficiency, watch out your heat. Heat is a beast to tame. By using the proper distance, there is no statistically better situation to fire your weapons. So there is no way to deliver toughest hit to the enemy in many turns. For one mech, things are somehow simple, but if you have a lance of mechs, you will have a dilemma. You can keep your lance together and attack like a formation of battleships, with advantage of position, against Napoleonic ships, but that will mean heat inefficiency, and hence, less damage and more heat. Therefore it implies a poorer heat efficiency. Or you may need to split your forces to achieve the best heat efficiency to maximize damage, but losing advantage of position. And on top of that, terrain and enemy movement can complicate the picture. If you liked this video, subscribe and activate the notification bell, like this video so YouTube recommends this video to other users, and share with other people. Let us make the Battletech community bigger. Enemy mech destroyed. Heat level critical.